Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do y'all summons for January the 21st, 2024. We'll be reading Yoshana chapter 7 in the New Testament. And I got these summons from listening to Kodak Black off the land. Okay, y'all should know who these people are. And if I have to stop, I will. And I will be posting more later on tonight. But, you know, I did some cooking videos, so that's why. Okay, after these things, Yeshua was walking in Galilee, for he wouldn't walk in Judah, because the Judeans sought to kill him. Now the Jewish fruit, now the Jewish festival, the feast of Sukkot, was at hand. His brothers therefore said to him, Depart from here and go into Judea, that your disciples also may see your works which you do. For no one does anything in secret while he seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, reveal yourself to the world. Okay, her food colors is coming out. The second one, the second girl. For even his brothers didn't believe in him. Yeshua therefore said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world can't hate you, but he hates me because I testify about it, that it works or evil. That what she wants that what she wants me to think, okay, or whoever. You go up to the feast. I am not yet going up to this feast because my time is not yet fulfilled. She was not supposed to do it. Having said these things to them, he stayed in Galilee. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, then he also went up, not publicly, but as it were in secret. The Judeans therefore saw him at the feast and said, Where is he? There was much murmuring among the multitudes concerning him. Some said, He is a good man. Others said, Not so, but he leads the multitude astray. Yet no one spoke openly of him for fear of the Judeans. But when it was now the middle of the feast, Yeshua went up into the temple and taught. The Judeans therefore marveled us, saying, How does this man know letters, having never been educated? Question mark. Who? Who? He know everything about you, the Lord. Yeshua therefore answered them, my teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. See, that's what I be telling y'all, okay? I'm um, even so many people, and people go up there, and he be like, you know, I don't know, I, just, I don't know, I don't mean y'all business like that, but I did see a little clip, he be, you know, um, they were like, well, what do you know about me then? Like, y'all deepest personal secrets only you should, and you and him should know, you know? If anyone desires to do his will, he would know about the teaching. Whether it is from God or if I am speaking from myself. He who speaks from himself seeks his own glory. But he who seeks the glory of him who sent him is who? And no unrighteousness is in him. Didn't Moses give you the Torah and yet none of you keeps the Torah? Question mark. Why do you seek to kill me? Question mark. The, see? See? The multitude answered, You have a demon who seeks to kill you. Yeshua answered them, I did one work and you all marveled because of it. See, that's what she wants y'all to think. Moses, that's this not, no. Moses have given you circumcision, not that it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And on the Sabbath, you circumcise a boy. If a boy receives circumcision on the Sabbath, that the Torah of Moses may not be broken, are you angry with me because I made a man completely healthy on a Sabbath? Christian Mark. Don't judge according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Therefore, some of them of Jerusalem said, Isn't this he whom they seek to kill? Christian Mark. Behold, he speaks openly, and they say nothing to him. Can it be that the rulers indeed know that this is truly the Messiah? Question mark. 
However, we know where this man comes from. But when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he comes from. Yeshua therefore cried out in the temple, teaching and saying, You both know me and know where I am from. I have not come of myself, but he who sent me is true, whom you don't know. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. I'm hearing the devil. They sought therefore to take him, but no one laid a hand on him, because his hour has not yet come. Who? I'm hearing the Lord. But of the multitude, many believed in him. They said, when the Messiah comes, he won't do more signs than those which this man has done. Will he? Question mark. The Pharisees, the ones who have seen it, heard the multitude murmuring these things concerning him, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent officers to arrest him. Then Yeshua said, I will be with you a little while longer than I go to him who sent me. You will seek me and won't find me, and where I am you can't come. The Judeans therefore said among themselves, Where will this man go that we won't find him? Question mark. Would he go to the disciple among the Greeks and teach the Greeks? What is this word that he said? You will seek me and won't find me. And where I am, you can't come. Now on the last and greatest day of the feast, Yeshua stood and cried out, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, from within him will flow rivers of living water. But he said this about the Spirit, which those believing in him was to receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Yeshua wasn't yet glorified. Many of the multitude, therefore, when they heard these words, said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Messiah. But some said, Where does the Messiah come out of Galilee? Christian Mark. Hasn't the scripture said that the Messiah comes of the offspring of David and from Bethlehem, the village where David was? Question mark. So a division arose in the multitude because of him. Some of them would have arrested him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers therefore came to the sheep priests and Pharisees, and they said to them, Why didn't you bring him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees therefore answered them, You aren't also led astray, are you? Question mark. Have any of the rulers believed in him or of the Pharisees? Question mark. But the mother too that doesn't know the Torah is cursed. Who? Nicodemus, he who came to him by night, being one of them, said to them, does our Torah judge a man unless he first hears, hears from him personally and knows what he does? Question mark. I'm, I'm going to say no. They answered him, Are you also from Galilee? Question mark. Search and see that no prophet has a rising out of Galilee. Everyone went to his own house. Okay, that's Yoshana chapter 7 in the New Testament in Judah.